Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Showdown Mariano to review today. So we are taking a look at a card that is 511, high medium work rates, right footed, three star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Uh, EA should 100% have upgraded his skill moves because this is probably going to be Mariano's best card for the rest of the year. So wouldn't have been a bad thing to give him the four star skills, to be honest. Uh, in game player traits, we're working with the injury prone trait, power header trait, as well as the power free kick trait. In game attributes 91 acceleration and 93 sprint speed is good for base card stats. We could improve it a little bit depending on how uh, they could potentially upgrade this card. Now, obviously, I'm going to be giving him an engine chemistry style because this card is 511 with a average body type. If I can't really fix the average body type for this card, then obviously I'd probably su suggest suggest uh, a different chemistry style on this card. But I still think the engine is going to make the most sense because if Real Madrid ends up winning the second leg and this card does get upgraded, I still think the engine is going to make the most sense because they still need to boost his dribbling as much as possible because his base card stats for pace and shooting as well as the passing is already in a pretty good area, but he's also a very physical oriented striker, right? So the thing that you have to hope for the most when it comes to this card is that they drastically increase the dribbling on the card if Real Madrid ends up winning the second leg, right? Uh, with Mariano, his dribbling, we're going to have to take a look and see what that's like in-game. But obviously, with the engine, we're going to be boosting the bounce by a plus 10 as well as the dribbling. But we do have to work with the 87 reactions, 85 ball control, while working with the average body type that the card has on, um, on his stats. With his heading accuracy, he does have 99 heading accuracy, which is cool and all. But heading is not really like a big thing nowadays. It's more important when you clear the ball out from the defensive position to the attacking line. Uh, and then last but not least, again, his physical is very nice because he does have the 97 aggression with the pace boost as well as the shooting. With a card like this, guys, because he doesn't have the four-star skill moves, it is a card that I have to uh, forcefully use with the get-in-behind instruction. It's not a card that I would prefer to only use without it, right? So we're going to do that for both Correa and Mariano's card. Lionel Messi will just stay up top, chilling, um, and then we'll use Mashis and Tony Cruz playing in the center mid positions with the fullbacks on balance instruction. So um, with Mariano, we're just going to try him on the get-in-behind instruction. Hopefully... His attacking AI is decent enough to attack certain space well. If it's not, I can see them actually improving the attacking positioning by quite a bit if he does get upgraded as well. So it is something to take into consideration uh, when it comes to this Mariano card. So yeah, let's get into a game, a couple games, see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, I wanted to see if the ball roll strike would have worked there. Correa will get the rebound. We will get the rebound. I think with Mariano, they definitely need to improve his shooting a little bit more. With the showdown concept being important to take into consideration, that is something that they can improve. I really wish they gave him the four-star skill moves, though, man. It sucks when they don't do that. His weak foot finesse actually wasn't that bad, to be fair. That was okay. Okay, so I didn't attack there because I just want to see what his attacking AI would be like. So he's just aggressive in that situation on the get him behind instruction. Yeah, just trying his finesse shot again with his weak foot. Bad angle. Okay. Bad angle shoots it at the goalkeeper. I don't, I don't expect him to do better there, to be fair. I always take those shots, man, just to see if they have some sort of, like, hidden crazy shooting, you know? You never know. Ah, uh, see, right there, it'd be nice to have the uh, fake shot Croquetta combo. Ah, oh, that pass was not great. Oh, with his weak foot again. I didn't like his attacking AI right there, though. I don't like that he didn't um, adjust at an angle. He kind of just like went in a straight line when there was like a lot of really good empty room to work with there. I'll try a long shot from there. Never know what happens. Uh, I'm going to take him off the get him behind instruction. Oh, that's where the dribbling is rough. When he's under pressure, you notice it the most. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that definitely needs to be improved in it for sure. That sway is a big no-no, man. Sergio 
Oh, uh, get it. Uh, nothing there, nothing. There you go, get him on that finesse shot. You know what's funny is that this card is, uh, <laughs> it's so similar to that, uh, I think, I, I'm pretty sure it was a moments card. Was it a moments card? I'm pretty sure, it was like last year or something. It was a gameplay objective, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I tried a shot cancel right there and it didn't register. No. Oh, let's go with the finish, Mariano. Like I said, guys, when you get inside the 18-yard box, just shoot, man. You just gotta shoot, my dudes. I'm telling you, man. Oh, wow. His free kick stats are actually quite nice. It's like... Oh, we actually hit the post directly. Wow. He actually has free kicks like that in real life? I mean, okay. His finesse shots are not, like, super, uh... Like, how am I gonna say it? It's not... It's not super heavy, you know? Like, it actually... There's actually, like, some good power behind it. It's just a shame he doesn't have the tray. If he had the tray, it wouldn't be too bad. See? Like, there's, there's like, this oomph behind it. The only problem is that if he had the trade, it would have been really nice to work with that. You gotta go for a first time here. Oh, get it! <laughs> I, you know what's funny? Is that I had a feeling I wasn't gonna score that. I had a feeling. I, was, I just felt it in my bones, man. Um, so with this card, guys, it is a combination of either giving him the get and behind instruction, uh, balance instructions. He's not bad with the balance instructions because of the high medium work rates that he has. But, um, I mean, uh, to be honest, like, even if he gets upgraded, I do think it's going to be a card you mostly get for sentimental value. I don't think he's going to be some sort of overpowered beast. It would have been nice. Like, I'm telling you, the four-star skill moves, man. Finesse shot. Yeah. See? I'm telling you, man. He has that, he has that thing behind it, bro. It's not like a, a loopy one. Oh, man. I remember this one time I had to do, like, this James Madison, um... Objective, or I had to do something with James Madison for an objective, and I was doing finesse shots with him. Oh, just end me. It was so terrible to do with him. Yeah, he, he has the worst base characteristics for it. <laughs> it wasn't a bad effort, to be fair. I <laughs> wasn't bad at all, man. Hermosa, what the hell? Oh, I should just shot with his weak foot right there. I just want to see how responsive his drilling would be under pressure. Oh, I thought I was gonna score that. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, his shot cancels come off well. Yeah, that attacking AI. I don't know. He's got to, like, adapt better, you know? Like, when he makes that run, I like players that understand that that run makes no sense anymore, so they adapt and do a different one, you know? That's why when I use players like Mbappe and Ronaldo, like, if I ever give them the get-in-behind instruction, they understand to follow that instruction, but to get back immediately, which is what makes them so sick. We'll score that one, at least. Um, but yeah, that's why base characteristics when it comes to attacking AI is so important because it's nice when a card's base attacking AI is good so that they kind of contradict the instruction that you're giving them, but they play it even better, if that makes any sense. You know what's funny? People are memeing the hell out of this card because he has a shadow chemistry style of him. Who voted for this? 41 votes. I don't know about you guys, bro. I don't know. Um, okay, so in regards to how he performs in game, guys, dribbling wise, because of the average body type and base card stats for dribbling stats, you will notice that in game, especially when under pressure, uh, you kind of have to use a little bit of the shot cancel to dribble quickly. Uh, he doesn't have the skill moves 
which really, really sucks. They should have given him the skill moves to make him more fun, in my opinion. But at least they've given him the four-star weak foot. His his four-star weak foot, to be honest with you guys, is actually not that bad. Uh, and the reason why for this is because of the 97 shot power, 90 finishing. With this card potentially being improved in the future, it would be nice to give him the pace, shooting, and dribbling boost as much as possible. Because with the engine chemistry style, I still feel like that's going to be the go-to chemistry style to give this card uh, to make him even more usable in the game. Uh, is this a card that I would do myself? No. Uh, the lack of skill moves by itself would not make me want to do him because it just makes the card more linear. Uh, yes, you can rely on his attacking air a little bit, even though it's pretty generic in my opinion. Uh, because here's the thing. When it comes to attacking AI, right? Body type being average, base card stats for dribbling being like this. Yes, he has the high medium work rates, but it's not like he's going to be like super aggressive to go into certain attacking AI spaces really quickly, right? And cards like this, uh, you know, if you don't have the skill moves, you got to at least have that really good attacking AI. And I don't think he compensates enough for that as well. So uh, I think with Mariano, he joins the sentimental value or Real Madrid fan or whatever it is, value FC. Um, it's not a card that I would personally do to use in this gameplay because if you guys use the Mariano card, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of trouble with it in my opinion. Like he's gonna be a physical oriented striker in this game, and you know physical oriented strikers for the most part are just not ideal. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.